What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Hello Neighbor 2 with the Alpha 1.5 build. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we are hopefully going to make lots of progress here in this Alpha 1.5 and with any luck we are going to get to see the end cutscene. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Hopefully everyone's doing amazing. Now, <laughs> slight problem. I have been already playing for like 10, 15 minutes, and then I realized I wasn't actually recording, which is not exactly ideal, but I haven't done anything too major, but I think I have figured out a few really, really important things. So yeah, last episode, what we did is we kind of just got like a bit of a feel for the new house. So... He's currently just chilling here. Now, it's kind of annoying because this is the area that I actually wanted to go to. Um, and it's all to do with the crowbar and what we were doing last episode to do with this generator, which I think I've actually now plugged in. Unless, of course, he's unplugged it. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me kind of show you a few things that I've just figured out. Let me uh, put that in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and apparently, if you add the game to your Steam wish list, you get a... Uh, you get a grappling gun. I've never used this before. I just saw it on the floor, so... How do I... Oh, it's quite short. Oh, no, I've thrown it! I've lost it. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've... Are you kidding? How does it work? <laughs> That's so cool! Alright. How do I, like... Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, nice. So yeah, we can, we can use this now if we want to. Right, so a few things that I've kind of learned about this build. So something with the conveyors is very important, and I actually got it working for a second. Annoyingly, though, he is exactly where we need him to be. Well, where we don't need him to be, which is a bit of a pain. But essentially, when we power up that generator and we have it plugged in, it actually moves the conveyor belt, which is underneath where that uh, crowbar is. Now... We somehow need to work out how to dislodge that crowbar, get it on top of the um, the, uh, the the sort of uh, conveyor belt thing, and then once we power up the generator, it's actually going to move the crowbar to hopefully a location where we can get it. Now, the only problem is, as of right now, I haven't quite figured out how to knock this off. Although, what about this? Does this work? Can I shoot through this? No. Ah, okay, yeah, we need to... We need to kind of knock this off. Oh, look! He's actually unplugged my cable! <laughs> but... <laughs> I have a horrible feeling he might be stuck on the cable. <laughs> um, should we test out that theory? Is he stuck on my cable? What have I done? I... <laughs> um... Yeah, as I mentioned, a little bit glitchy at times. I'm curious, is he stuck on my cable? <laughs> I think he might be. I want to show you this. I managed to do this. I just used some cones. But if we actually grab, like, a bunch of cones, there's, like, this other area to the side which you can get on from the tree. So... Is he stuck on it? Now, this is a bit of an issue, to be honest with you, because I don't know... I can't get in here without him actually manually putting in a code. So I might have to try and, like, untangle him. What? Yeah, this game is so glitchy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, essentially what we could do... Check this out. If we go this way, we could actually jump on this tree. So it's a little bit of a trickier jump, because it's quite a small jump. There we go. But once we're on this tree... We can actually take one of our cones and we can throw it at this lever. Okay, try again. A little bit higher. About there. Yes! And that's done something. What it's done exactly, I'm not too sure. He's definitely stuck on my cable. <laughs> Which is quite something. Oh, we can't get in still. How do we get in there? So we could actually, like, open up the, the, the window with the crowbar. But at the same time, we need the crowbar to get in. Hello? <laughs> Are you alright, mate? <laughs> what is... what is... Can I have my cable back? <laughs> hey! <laughs> give me... 
<laughs> oh, I think I, okay, I think I fixed it. Okay, that's good news. We actually need him to, uh, no, he's still stuck on my cable. What? Oh, so he's actually unplugged the cable out of the wall. I just spotted him do it. So obviously he's probably put it somewhere else in the house. But I think this is the first time we've ever seen, like, sort of interacting with objects that you've placed, sort of stuff that you've plugged in, especially the cable. That's really weird. So in theory, right, he should have moved the cable that we plugged into the wall, and it should be somewhere on the ground floor. Now, where exactly? I'm not too sure. Oh, there it is. He's put it back in the fridge. <laughs> That's so strange. Okay. Huh. Maybe I can show you this, actually. Hang on. If he's just chilling there... Yeah, look at this. So if we if we go here, we grab our cable. So we can plug this in here, and then this in here. And then when we power this up, it actually moves this conveyor belt. But the problem is, we somehow need to work out how to... Don't throw that away. What are you doing, James? We somehow need to work out how to dislodge the crowbar. I wonder if we can, like... That nearly worked. That nearly worked. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. That nearly worked. Give me another cone. No, 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 no! <laughs> I've thrown away the one thing that I need. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm kind of hoping that it, because it's on this conveyor belt. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we know what we need to do is dislodge that crowbar, get it on this conveyor belt, and then this conveyor belt is going to take it up onto the roof where we can grab it and start undoing stuff. So as soon as we do that, we can actually then get into this room without even requiring the code. But the problem is, is actually dislodging that crowbar. So I think I'm going to try the cone technique again. That seemed to actually work. I did move it. But what we're going to do before that is we're going to put our valuable items in here. So we just <laughs> just chuck them over the top by accident. Um, we'll try cones. There's plenty of cones around. So let me try and fill my inventory with these bad boys. <laughs> I used the grappling hook. <laughs> I, I'm not 100% sure that's what you're supposed to do. To be honest with you, I'm in this like weird space. Um, this is not part of the map. Um... How do I... Oh, no. Have I, I, have I got myself stuck? I think I've got myself stuck. Um, How do I... Can I get myself down there? I'm in this, like, void space. Oh, there you go. But I can't actually get down. I wonder if I can... Something tells me I might have to restart this. <laughs> I've actually got myself fully stuck in this roof space. He's now on the roof with his uh, um, fire extinguisher trying to get me. I, there's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do here. Um, I can't get out. Like, I physically can't get out. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to restart. So there must be a more efficient way to get this. Ah, no, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. But the problem is I've lost the one item that I actually want. And I can't quite reach it. Hmm. Oh, I've just realized. I've just realized what it does. I've just realized what it does. It reverses the thing. Oh, lads, 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 lads. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 speed, 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 speed. Hopefully he's not there chilling on his chair. Of course he is. But look, 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 look. Oh, no, it's changed back. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. So what we need to do is we need to flick the lever. And then that reverses temporarily the... Um, the elevator and then the, the 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 thingy and then when we actually get on it we can get in that room and i think we can get the fire extinguisher ah okay 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 so that's good news that good uh but what we need to do now is we need to get him out of the house so i had the mobile phone but i've lost it <laughs> don't know what i've done with it um he took this from me ah mobile phone that would be the perfect thing to do Okay, boom. So that's then reverse this. We can go and sneak through here. Yes, lads. We can go and get this. Boom. Fire extinguisher. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. We now have the fire extinguisher, which means... 
Oh god, we're not gonna get busted. We're not gonna get busted. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Okay, good. Let's get out of here. So we've now got the fire extinguisher, which means we can actually use that to put out his fire to get the gold key. But I think we could also maybe use the fire extinguisher to dislodge... Um... The crowbar. Okay, here goes nothing. So we now have the fire extinguisher, which is good. So let's try... Using it... It's worked, it's worked, it's worked, it's worked, it's worked. So now if we get the cable. We plug that into there, we plug that into there, we fire that up. No, 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 he's gonna take the... Okay, I... Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. I thought I'd lost this, I thought I'd lost this. Go, 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 go. <laughs> but I can't, I need to stop it, I need to stop the, the thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I want to keep my fire extinguisher, I cannot lose that. But I need to get on the roof. There's a high possibility that he might actually be stuck on the roof right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and put his fire out. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Go, 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 go. Is this going to work? It should. Come on. Come on. Is this working? It's a fire extinguisher. I think it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Dude, you've got to hold it down for so long. Give me the key. Give me the key. Yes, we've got the key. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, the one problem is, I don't know where the crowbar's gone. Which is not good news, but... All right, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So, we can now use the key to unlock the lock on the roof. This is good. This is good. You know what I think I'm going to have to do? I think I'm going to have to refire up the generator and then just wait for it to become available. Maybe it's on a loop and maybe we just did it for too long. So I think we're just going to have to wait for it to come back around again, which is not the end of the world, but he's stuck on the roof right now and I kind of don't want to unglitch him. I'm dropping frames like crazy here. Don't worry, it's me, not you. But I guess he probably... Whoa! No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, I don't want him to steal it. All right, so it comes back around on the conveyor belt. So hopefully, with any luck, it should come back around here. Provided, of course, he doesn't run through into the house and, like, stop the belt. Um, but we need... Oh, jeez, don't go too far. Because you'll trigger him. You'll trigger him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on, where is that crowbar? Please. <laughs> it has to be here somewhere. Oh no, the one thing that I'm worried about, okay, we've got some cones coming through. Where is it? It has to be here, it can't be anywhere else, it's just on a big loop. I haven't knocked it off anywhere, have I? I think it's fallen off, unless of course he's taken it and put it in like the fridge or something, because I'm pretty sure the same cones have come around like twice now. Um, which is both good and bad news. In theory, he normally puts things in the fridge, so... Crowbar. No. Oh, great. What has he done with the crowbar? Are you actually kidding me right now? Where is it? It, <laughs> it could only be one of the... Yes! <laughs> he did! Okay, so he took it from me. Woo! Okay, this is really good news. The crowbar is going to open up so many locations. Yes! Okay, this is great news. This is good, this is good, this is good. Okay, so now we've got the crowbar. It means I think we can get into this room, and I think this has a rope in it. Yes! It's working! Yes, lads! Alright, this is great. This is great. This is great. Really good news. Um, So we can now get inside here. And in here contains... A lot of stuff, but it also contains a rope. Now, this is really good news, because I think we can actually use this to unlock the top of the door. I think. So, let me try this. Hopefully, this is going to work. I need to go and get the key. But. Right. Let's try this. So, if I... Jeez, this is a bit dodgy. This is going to be a bit dodgy, but hey. Attach this here. 
can I climb up it a bit? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> um, can I get... Oh, jeez. Okay, this has not worked. This has not worked. Just realized something. Can't I use the fire extinguisher to jump? Yes, I can. Kind of. How do I... How do I do it? I don't actually... I've never used it before to do this, so... Yes! It works! Okay, this makes life so much easier! Okay. No, 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 no. Right. I want the rope. Give me the rope. Don't screw this up, James. No, don't screw this up. Okay, good. Rope. So rope, I'm going to attach it here instead. And we're going to swing. Yes, it's worked. It's worked. It's worked. It's worked. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We need to do the boards first. This is going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Yes. Swing. Come on. One more. One more. Yes. And now we swap to key. Yes. We open the doors. And we've fallen off. Oh, <laughs> so close. Okay, one more time. One more time. We're in. Yes. We're in. <laughs> okay. What have we got then? Oh. Oh, it's the... These are doll versions of the kids that we saw in the opening segment. Oh, and look, it's the crow. Ooh, okay, so these are like... These look like homemade costumes of the kids from the opening thing. They're kind of the scarecrows. And they've got like this basket in front of them. Can I put stuff in it? Uh, oh, wait a sec. What if... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you guys remember like last episode where I got that thing that was actually like butter? <laughs> I wonder if it's like sweets. Because <laughs> it's the trick or treaty, like trick or treat vibe, isn't it? Interesting. Let's try it. Let's just try it. See if it works. Um, let's get in there. Come on. Nice. Okay. So if I try and put this weird thing in here. It works. You can put him in. Did you just move? Did he just move? There's a suite up here. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess we're looking for sweets. All right. Um, where should we look? We can go anywhere we want now, pretty much. With oh, okay. The fire extinguisher is a little dodgy at times, but I'm trying to get inside here. Is there anything in here? No. I wonder how many we need. Okay, so that's two. Maybe we only need two pieces? I'm not too sure. Uh, so this is definitely like a sweet looking thing. So if we drop this in the basket, does he move? He does, okay. Mm, I don't know, I feel like we either need three or four. But where those other ones are, I've got a clue. Um. I just guess we need to start looking, huh? Okay, maybe we'll need the crowbar. Let's keep that. Right, I'm just going to go and try and look around the map. Um, might take a bit of time, but... I guess we're just going to have to. Oh! You know, I have this feeling the cat actually takes you to the buildings where something's in. It does what? <laughs> yeah, so I've been like, um... I've been following the cat, and the cat seems to constantly go to the different locations. Um... Which is really weird. So the only way that you can get in here, I think, is with the fire extinguisher, right? Or you can probably just jump up now. But yeah, he, he's like outside. So where is he going to go next? Oh, look. These are boarded up. Ah. <laughs> I feel like we might have cracked it, you know? They must be in here, surely. Come on. This is just a random building, yet it's boarded up. That's a bit suspicious. Boom. Come on open. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Some kind of broom. Oh, look. It works. 
<laughs> okay. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Can we get on top of here? We can. Oh. Yes. We got two more. All right, so let's go and put them in. If There might be five, you know? Like, I have no idea. Let's, let's go and try. Here's the moment of truth. Here is the big moment of truth. Here we go. Dude, these guys are so creepy looking. Look at these guys. Dude. All right, okay, here we go. So, in. Did he move? He did. In. I think we're missing one single piece. Hmm. Okay, we need to go and find one more then, I guess. Can we drop? Okay. Oh, there's a fridge there. Oh, is it in here? <laughs> okay, yeah, the... Oh, we can make we can make tea. Yeah, the houses with the uh, the pumpkins outside are the ones you go to. That kind of makes sense, really. But apart from and then the cat, I think it's something to do with the pumpkins and the cat. All right, that's five. Surely five is the maximum, right? I guess there's one way to find out. Okay, here we go. Final piece of candy. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Why are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? <laughs> All of that for me to glitch through the map and die? Are you actually taking... No. Let me try and reload it. I don't know what's going to happen, man. Um. Oh, come on. Moment of truth. Where is it going to reload us? On the floor. All glitchy and weird. Why is it put us here? I've lost all my items. Man, not happy about that. Are you kidding? Have I got any load saves? Ah, so it does auto save. Thank goodness. Okay, what time is it? Uh, I'm going to try and reload this one. Hopefully this one. All right, I'm going to see what, what it happens here. Why is everything... Oh, dude, I've got to go and get the rest of the candy again. Well, I guess thank goodness for autosave, huh? <laughs> All right. So hopefully it's recorded the other pieces of candy it has. So I'm going to drop every other item. I don't know why that happened. I'm a little bit scared to drop them now. He walks closer. He walks closer. Please don't do it again. He walks... It's the neighbor! What? What is the neighbor? And it's a television. I think the sound might have glitched, but we still get the general impression. Why was the neighbor in the attic? And now this dude's going back out to trick or treat, but he saw that on the monitor? How is your weather? What? <laughs> um, I don't know what to think about that ending. That was really weird. So it was based off trick or treat. We gave five pieces of candy back to these like shrine kids. And one of them was locked in this thing, but he looked like a puppet. But every time we gave him a candy, he moved closer. And on the fifth candy, he transformed into the neighbor who's actually trapped in the attic. And then there's a dude watching the whole thing on the camera. And he says, How <laughs> I don't know. Well, there we have it. That is the ending of the Hello Neighbor Alpha 1.5 uh, for Hello Neighbor 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Probably a bit of a mad way to do it, but eventually we did get it, which is great news. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So until next time, thanks and see ya.